In this video, I will explain the difference between linear velocity and angular velocity. Linear versus angular velocity. So we all know that linear velocity is simple. A object moves from the point A to point B in a straight line. It is called as a linear motion. Okay. So it can be like this way. A goes to B. Or it can be like this one as well. So notice that we are moving in a linear direction. So that is what it is called as linear velocity. Angular velocity is basically when we are moving in a circular fashion, okay, or rotational motion like this. For example, a field of a car. So that is the example of angular velocity. And in the linear, we can have say like car is moving from point A to point B that is called as a linear velocity. Now let us find the relation between these two. So it is given by this particular formula. V is equal to omega r. angular velocity multiplied by this particular distance will give you velocity. Let's have this particular circle and the object is rotating around this circumference. And this is the axis of rotation at the center. So if you want to find out the velocity of this point on the circumference, we can find it out using this formula V is equal to omega R. So if you have given the omega that is angular velocity and if you know the distance of the object from the axis of rotation, then velocity can be found. And as you can see, the velocity of the object depends upon angular velocity and radius as well. So if you have bigger circle like this and object is moving in this particular rotational motion, then even if the angular velocity is same in both the case, the linear velocity will be different. Okay, because here the radius is larger. So linear velocity is directly proportional to the distance from the axis of rotation it is also directly proportional to the angular velocity as well. So higher the angular velocity, linear velocity will be higher. Then larger the distance from the axis of rotation, velocity, linear velocity will be larger as well. 